Congratulations, thanks for stopping by. Uh, first things first, what was your reaction when you found out you won? Oh wow, uh, <laughs> I was shaking. Definitely, it's just such an honor, especially knowing who went before me. I know Riley Sorensen got it last year and it's just an extreme honor to be recognized. And Yeah. <laughs> Great. Two coups in a row. Uh, so tell yeah. me a little bit, let's talk about your story because it, it really is remarkable. You moved from Sweden to Pullman in the fall of 2013 and within a month of being on campus, you're diagnosed with a rare heart condition and doctors are telling you that your swimming career is over and that there's no exercise. A lot of people in my mind would have packed up and gone back home at that point. What made you stay? Well, I mean, first of all, I just didn't really believe it. It's such a hard thing to take in and actually, I don't know, realize what's going on and all I knew at that point in my life was swimming and all I wanted to do in my life was swimming. That's why I moved here in the first place. Uh, I was willing to do anything just to make that happen and be able to be with my team again. So what has this process been like for you over the last few years? Oh, it's been great. I mean, obviously my freshman year was a struggle with this, but then after that I had such a big support from my coaches and especially teammates and my family and everyone around me really try to help me and then after I got back into the water it's just been getting better and better and I just feel like I don't want to leave this place ever because it's such a big family. Well at some point you are going to have to leave Pullman, Washington unfortunately. Next fall you graduate with a degree in mechanical engineering. What will be next for you? Yes yeah, so um I really would like to stay in sort of the field of medical and engineering, maybe help out and make some progress and well since I got so much help with my heart condition I would like to give back and maybe see if there's anything I could do like I could maybe design another ICD that could help other people or something like that. Very cool. We'll let you go on this because I know you, I know you got to run. But it, to me, what makes this award so special is that it's voted upon by your peers, by other Pac-12 student athletes from around the conference. So I, I'm curious as you look back at the relationships you've made and the experiences you've had, what we sort of remember most about your time at Washington State. Wow. Um, there is so much. It, obviously, coming from a different country, it's a completely different culture, and I never thought I could be so close with the a team and a coaching staff and everyone in athletics just helping you and really wanting the best for you. Like once you've been told you're going to die if you work out and now I succeed, I've got a graduate degree and a four year swimming career. It's, it's pretty amazing to have those people around me. I could not have done it without anyone. It is absolutely amazing, as are you. Um, congratulations on a fantastic Washington State career so far and we look forward to seeing what's next for you, Anna. Thank you. Thank you so much.